But even as you walk, you're just trying to make sure he travels where you want him to go and he stays in a straight line and he doesn't wobble around. And then see if he'll walk just a little bit slower going out. Yep. So I'd straighten his head. He's not really paying attention. Pull on your reins a little bit and get his attention. Because if he's like that when we get up to those workers, then he might not listen to us at all. So hold him straight through the mud. Always make him where you want to go through the mud. Otherwise, they'll take you into the side or a tree or something. Focus. Again, I didn't see if there's any workers out here, but they blend in with the flowers. So right now, his head's a little too high. So you want to bring it a little lower. Yeah, and have more rain contact. So bend your elbow and get his head down. So more pressure on the rain. And so, lower on the rain. I don't want you to put your hands lower. They don't have to be tighter. He just has to bring his head down. Because right now, it, you know, he's going out. He's first, so he's kind of excited. And if his head gets higher, it'll bring the excitement up even more. So right there is a good head carriage. We're gonna keep going straight and it gets really muddy up here. So you have to steer and keep them in the middle of the trail. Otherwise there's muck on both sides of it. So make sure he's listening and going straight now and go a little slower. And then if he's going fast, open your mouth, breathe, make sure it's not you being tense that he's moving away from. And then try to stay right here, right in the middle because it gets really bad up ahead. So you're going to steer with both your legs and your reins, kind of just holding him back and forth. Hold him straight. Don't let him wobble. Yeah. Slower. Get, the, get your left leg on him. Push him over. Get him right in the middle. That's why it's important that they listen to go straight. Go a little slower because you're getting way ahead of us. Yeah. Now he might stop because he's going to the bathroom. Yep. Get his head straight. So if he spooks right now, you're leaning forward, he's on a loose rein. <laughs> so it'd be really bad. So stop him. If you want to let him look, that's okay. But open your reins. Can you see this? Yeah. Like this. And look at the object. He's looking at that scarecrow thing and the people. So you're ready. If he spooks, you want to be sitting back. You don't want to be leaning forward on a loose rein. Yeah. Okay. So now he's getting a little more scared. So make him go forward. Immediately get his head down. Don't let him look at them. Get him focused on you. So pull on the rein. Pull on it. Get his head down. Yeah, apply pressure. Get him thinking about you. You can always leg yield him back and forth. That's why that leg yield in the arena helps you to give him something to do. And he's going to get up here and try to look at those workers again. Try to keep them focused on you or even make that little serpentine that we did in the arena. And talk to him and breathe. Yeah, get his attention on you. You can slide the bit by squeezing with one hand, squeeze with the other, squeeze with one hand, then the other. Talk to him, get his head down. His head's too high. Yeah, he's relying on himself, not on you right now. So get his attention on you. Keep your right leg on him so he doesn't, you know, go off into the flowers. Yeah, and then breathe. Tell him he's a good boy because this is scary. Yeah. Keep his head down all the way up this hill. You're going to keep his head down because it'll help him to engage his back end also. Yeah, well, for, when they're being like when it's shot up like that, you just hold. Just pull back. Yes, just pull back. So I make a fist and if that doesn't work, then you bend your elbows. But you immediately want to tell them what to do because otherwise the horse goes to his instinct and goes, hey, Judy. And he goes, hey, Judy. And you don't respond by getting his head down. He goes, hey, Judy, I'm going to take care of this situation. We're out of here. <laughs> so that's why sometimes you have to be a little bit, you know, strong or abrupt. Now, when we go up these little stairs, if you want to give a little leg and say can or and see if he can or she can. And then, okay, so but just like, you know, what, just up this little part. Right. And then, but I turn him. So I'm well, up these stairs, you won't be able to. Just so don't worry about it. That the, Just having that thing is like a pole. So he might just kind of pop over it, which would give you a little bit of practice, which is good. And then keep my arms. Yeah, you're just wide. So that way, when you steer, you don't pull back. You just pull side. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Yes. And again, it's up to you. If you get up here and you're like, I'm not ready, then don't do it. Then just walk over it. But if you want to try, you can. Look up. And then back to a walk. 
Yeah, so the only thing, <laughs> you did it very nicely, but you weren't supposed to canter off there. You're supposed to wait for the pole and then canter off. Oh, you so mean yeah, so you cantered off early and he's not, you know, a great canter yet. So we got to the pole and it wasn't in the right spot. So if you would have waited and then asked for the canter at the first pole, then he would have just leaped up all of them. Right at the pole. You're right at the pole. But you did great. Like that was a beautiful canter. It was nice and slow. You yeah. felt okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yes. So even through here, you know, people don't think about it. They just let the horse follow the trail. You want to be the one he's listening to. So you want to make sure you're holding him straight. So when we get to the part where it goes down and it's narrow, that they stay straight and that way they don't go on the side and trip and fall. Okay, yeah. I'm in the bed. Yes, that's okay. I would stay there for now. Yeah. And and then just with his head, when you get up here, it's okay if he lowers in and looks it. Just don't let him put it way sideways because then he'll go crooked and hit the sides here. But he can always lower it if he can't see it. I let them put their head down and I just keep holding him straight. Good job. Yep. And now his head's much better now that we're by those guys and he's not scared. But see, if we came out fresh without running him first, he might have saw that stuff and checked out. Yeah. You know, you're trying to be, because they're babies, you're trying to help them prepare and then help them be successful, not scare them. So you want to pick, because again, your eyes are in the front of your head. He's seeing on the side. So he'll pick what's safe for him, but not safe for you. So I stay left, yeah. Because I don't want them to stick their foot in a gully and possible trip and then I fall off. Yep, now stop and wait for me because now this horse is slower. Yep. So it won't feel like you're going fast, but this guy has a shorter stride. Okay, and practice and stopping like this is good. Because okay. then they get so used to stopping, you know, they don't have hissy fits when you stop. Yep, and everywhere you go downhill, you want to keep whiskey a little slow because going downhill makes them pacey. So it's going to bounce you and feel choppier. Okay. So now this trail slowly starts to go uphill. We're going to wait a little bit. Let me see. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. You can turn them either direction and just ask for one canter step and then come back to a walk. Can you try that? One step. One step. You just want to get the canter and then come back to a walk because you're just practicing. So think of turning him sideways one way or the other. So if you turn his head left, use the left leg. If you turn his head right, turn, use your right leg. Now walk. Yep. Sit. Good. Okay, now just go back to walking. So you're trying to make the canter not a big deal, okay? Yeah. So it's just like asking him to speed up and gait, and then you come back. So we're going to stay on the left because the footing's better. Yeah. But once you get up here, I want you to ask him to canter and then canter up the whole hill, okay? So ready, ask him to canter. So turn him a little sideways. Say canter. Good job. And then walk and tell him he's a good boy. Give him a little scratch. Really good. See, that was pretty slow. Yeah. Yeah. That was yep, now go slow because you're going downhill and it makes pacey horses pacier. So you're trying to keep, teach him when you go downhill to go slow and get his weight on his back end. So he kind of feels like a quarter horse because the walking horses just fly down hills and throw their legs. <laughs> yeah, they do. yeah, so we have to teach them how to do it to keep us safe. They get downhill that way. It's just not safe for the rider. But see that he's much calmer than he was with me the other, both the other days. But he's had more work and now you got a horse with you. So when you get up here and it starts to go up a little incline, try again just to ask for one canter step. So either direction, but you're always trying to alternate it so you're not favoring a lead. Then it will be your left leg. So turn his, oh, that's to the right. Well, oh, that's to the right. Yeah, his butt's going left, but that's to the right. So you'd use your right leg if that's what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but turn his head. Good, now walk. That was more than one step. <laughs> <laughs>
this guy's racking a little bit that's why his head came way up but that was good that was a nice install but these are the things you're trying to do is just canter here and there and keep it slow and it's not like a big deal you know people get to the bottom kick the horse with both legs and it freaks out and gallops up and loses its mind so we're going to come up on a steep hill but we won't canter at the bottom. I'll tell you when to start cantering. We want to wait until we're going up the hill a little bit. And then remember, turn him a little sideways. So whichever way you turn his head, if you turn his head to the right, use the right leg. If you turn his head to the left, use his left leg. Oop. And then just stop for a second so I can catch up. Good. Okay, now you can walk off. So if he tries to canter, don't let him. You would slide the bit and just tell him to keep walking, okay? So right now we're walking. Up we're walking. And then I'll tell you when you can canter, okay? So right now it's no gate. It's just a walk. Stay out of walk. And then remember when you ask him, turn him a little sideways. Okay, keep walking. Now nice and easy, ask him to canter. And then lean a little forward to help him. Beautiful. Yeah. And then back to a walk. Good job. See, wasn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> See, once they know what to do with their feet, it gets so much better. So, and again, this is a, you know, a short one. And uh, when you get to the bottom, you got to wait for me again. <laughs> we'll be there soon. <laughs> but since this is short, you just want a couple of steps and then back to a walk, but not yet. I'm still coming. He's like, why are they so slow? Okay, now you can walk off. And don't do it yet, just start getting ready. So start to make him crooked. So turn his head to the right, right? Like turn his head more right, sideways. Now ask him, just a step. So that's okay. He started off on the wrong lead behind. So it might've been felt funny. And then he got the correct lead behind. So that was fine, he fixed it. And he's pretty good at fixing it now that if it feels funny, if you just give him a couple seconds, he'll switch to the correct one. Yes. So this one, I always stay a little left because on the right, you know, it drops off. So I kind of go, I aim for the left side of the tree. So stop for a second so I can catch up. Okay, now you can start walking. So stay at a walk, but you'll start getting yourself ready. Okay, now when you're ready, go ahead and ask him. Good. Yeah. Very nice. So now we just have one hill left. So we'll do the same thing. And you're just always trying to make sure the person behind you is not far away. Because if you take off, usually their horse gets crazy and just runs. And then sometimes they can't get the can or they're doing some crazy pace thing. Okay. So let the other horse way behind. Leave them behind no don't you want see where i am right now this is a good space for if we're going to canter because if i'm too far back my horse could go crazy because they think they're going to get left yeah. yep so wait because this is still on the flat so wait till you get a little incline and then you'll probably get three or four steps now you can go good job now we're just going to walk yeah, so again, he'll be quieter in pasture, but since you're going to practice the cantering, I would still lunge around pen until it, you know, the weather starts getting hotter. Uh -huh. And then you might not have to do it at all because the pasture might keep him quiet enough. Yeah. Well, and then. So. Oh. It'll come back so. to you. I forget things all the time. I'm like, what was I saying? Oh, you know, you say look ahead, and I get that. Yes. But when you're on these trails, or just like some ravines or some big rocks and stuff, I always try to steer them. Around it, but yeah. But some people say it's the horse's job to get through it. You just look straight ahead, and I, I can't do that. Yeah. No, I steer around it. The horse will get through it. Each horse is different. He's a baby, mm -hmm. so he actually needs you to show him where to put his feet. Yeah. If he was a 15-year-old trail horse that rode all over on the trail, he should know, but just like people, each one has their talent. Yeah. 
So some horses are great at it, some are not so good. They'll take you right through the mud under a tree and knock you off. And I've seen it happen. Yeah, so no, I, I steer them and I'm always training them. So I'm always picking, you know, what I think is the better footing. If I have no clue, if I get to something and I'm like, oh my God, I'm really scared. Well, that's the time they better get me through it because I helped them the 50, you know, thousand other times. But yes, otherwise I, I choose because again, they do it great, but they do it great for them, not for us. Yeah. Because that's why they hit trees and stuff and people go, they knock me in the tree. I go, no, no. Well, some do it on purpose. I go, but not on purpose. It's just, he saw how big he is and he didn't accommodate for your leg. So my other horse does. So as we, you see the little golf ball? Yeah. I'm going to have you stop there for just a couple of seconds. Cause you put that there? No. It just happened to be there. I saw it yesterday. Okay, now you can go. It's just so I don't fall behind. But that was good practice. So your other horse does accommodate. Is that what you're oh, saying? Yeah, he goes around. Yeah, so he's good. But that, is that the one that's 30? Yeah. Yeah, so he, he learned. He learned Judy's nice. Don't hurt her. She's paying my bill. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, you got to teach them. So once they know, so going down this, I'm going to go behind you. Same thing, maybe like halfway down. Stop. It'll be hard. And, and when I go downhill, I put all the weight in my legs. I kind of stand in the saddle a little bit to free up their back. So stop right here just for three seconds. That's okay. And now go. That was perfect because you had to, you know, not go into the tree. And then right when you hit the bottom, stop again. Oh. Yep. So he's going sideways, so I'm just side passing him back over. That's why you want to know how to side pass. So if your horse goes sideways. Yeah, so right here, stop and wait like three seconds. Now you're good. Now I'm caught up. Yeah. Very good. And that way he, you know, he learns to wait for the other horses. It'll just become a habit too. My horse, I taught him that. And then if the horse got so far behind, he would just stop on his own and wait. I was like, what a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. That, was your favorite that was Sundance, yeah. He was your favorite. Yeah, well, he was mine. Now it's Tilly's turn. Yeah. But I have been working on her canter. Now I got to get her back on the trail. So this, don't let him canter up because, again, we're heading home and it's not that far away. So, you, you know, if you want to gait faster, you can. I just keep their head down so he stays at a running walk and just kind of pushes. <laughs> now you got a carry fool. <laughs> I said, but that was beautiful. It's just a couple steps. Oh, that was great. Right? And that's okay. If he does something like that, even if he didn't want to carry, I don't punish him. He's trying to do the right thing. I just go, no, just walk. That was awesome. I know, yes, because that will really build up his hind end. And when he can, you know, and then occasionally, like when it's on the flat and you think he's doing pretty well, then try a step or two on the flat. If he can't do it, you know, wait uh, like two or three more weeks, then try it again. Yes, he's gotten much better. But yeah, it takes more muscle strength and engagement, which is hard for the pacey ones. Yeah, like halfway. This is mostly because you have to keep waiting for me, but it's good practice. Now you can go. Yep. So it's just kind of pausing for a couple of seconds and then do it on the bottom too. And then that way the slow person doesn't fall a hundred yards behind and their horse doesn't, you know, gallop off trying to catch up to the other one. That's perfect. Well, I really like them really, um, people. Yeah, they don't wait. And they don't come yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it tries to, you know, it's fine if I do that, you know, and I'm testing a horse to see what I'll do, but yeah, that just gets people hurt. Yes. No, that's not correct either. But nobody gets it because they're the ones leaving. You know, if their horses were going nuts, they wouldn't do that. 
I would stay in the red until we get down by the horses and take the turn to the left. Then I think you're okay. Yeah, and then go, can you wait for a second? Just because we're now we're like three horse lengths. Now we're good. Yeah. But see, this horse has a much shorter stride, even though he's bigger. Yeah. Your horse could outwalk him in a second. Well, he does have a long stride. Yeah. So, yeah, just slowly Oh, yeah, I will. See, some people are afraid to do that. You know, I don't know. You turn around and they're gone. I was like, you have to yell. It's a communication with all of us, you know. Go slower, go faster, wait up. Zora's good with farm workers. Why? Yeah. I know those strawberries look so good. I was <laughs> eyeing them the other day. Yeah, it is really pretty around here. It's so right? With all the flowers and then the farm. It's a really nice place for Ron. It is. And then he has the rides that go way out around. So here, just try to keep them in the middle so you don't go to the. I, I don't know if you do go in it, how deep it goes, because it's been wet the whole time. Yeah. So you just guide them with your hands and your legs. So if you know how to leg yield, this is much easier. Because then you know exactly how to push them over if they drift one direction or the other. Thank you. Okay, now we're home. All right, you hurt. See if you can hurt him towards me, or if he'll just stand there with you. Uh, yeah, you block that way. Hi, buddy. I got a new friend over here. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Want some more? I'm looking to see where the thing is. Hi. Hi. I'm going to stick them in the paddock. I'm not gonna find like this steak thing here. Yummy. Go for Okay, so now you're gonna side pass this way. So same thing again, hands that way, right leg off, left leg on, no whiskey. Now, now he's good, very good. Now he's crooked, so just pull this rein to straighten him out. Perfect. Now he walked over the pole, but that's okay. Good job, okay. Yeah, now he's far away from the pole. It's okay, but we'll, if he starts walking forward, I'll tell you because you won't hear it because the pole's not there. So now try and go this way. He's like, aren't we done yet? We've caught a horse. So open your reins this way, look over my head, and then I'm moving with you. So keep looking straight, but over my head. Yep, now stop and see if he's straight. Now he's a little crooked, so just this rein. Oh, well, you got it, that's okay. Good. Now he just kind of parked himself out. That's okay. So scratch him. And what I'll have you do is back up a little bit so you're far away from the pole now. Because now you did it pretty good with the pole. So back up even more. Yep. But look up. Don't look down. Okay. So now try to side pass him that way. So keep looking over my head. Try not to look at his head unless you need to check your reins. So this leg off, this leg on, hands go this direction. And you keep looking over my head. Now he's getting a little crooked, so just turn his head a little more left to straighten him out. Now stop and see if he's straight. Very good. Here, you can have a little treat. Because you have to do it one more time the other direction. This will make him want to do it. <laughs> okay, so when you're ready, he can chew as he's doing it. Your hands are going to go this way. It's this leg, and this leg is off, and look over my head. Yep, if he goes backwards, push your hands forward. If he goes forward, we hold. Yep, and then turn your toe out. Yep, good. Open this rein a little more. There you go. Perfect, Judy. Yep, and now stop and see if he's straight. So he's a little crooked. That was perfect, yep. So he did walk a little bit forward, but for the first time side passing, that was awesome. 
Yes, but use, you know, if you're confused, start at the fence, then if you're good, go to the pole and then get away from the pole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense mm -hmm. or any questions? No, I want to practice that. Yes. Too. It's helpful because with opening gates or you got to, you know, reach for something on the fence or you put your phone over there so you have to grab it. That way he starts acting like he's your legs and you're just making your extra legs do things. Yeah.